everybody, Steve from 3D Universe here again, just to go through another of the scripts that we've created to, to help you out with your animations. This one's called Path Plotter, and let's see what it can do for you. So in Dare Studio, you'll see I have a very simple scene setup. I have a sphere, I have a cube, and I have a cylinder. And across my animation, I am basically animating that sphere. It moves around in between the other objects also notice on on the side here I've got a camera that moves in and out if you've seen the previous video I did on the camera follow focus this is basically the same scene that I'm I'm using in, in my demo so let's see what uh, path plotter can do for us path plotter will basically plot the path of any object across the course of an animation uh, so that you can see it in the viewport and I'm going to select the sphere because that's the one that's actually moving run my path plotter and let's have a look at a couple of the the options uh, first of all you've got to replace an existing path which is disabled at the moment and that is simply because a path doesn't already exist for the object you've got the animation selection as as usual where you can select uh, current range player range full range or a custom range um, this is the color of the curve that is going to be created uh, in your view viewport. The curve is not uh, renderable, so it will, help, will not appear in your render. Uh, but this is just what color it appears in the viewport. You also have the option of including frame dots. Uh, and frame dots just will create a little dot uh, on, on each of the actual frame positions. So you can see the exact position. Um, of the item at a particular point in the animation. So I'm going to just run it by default uh, with the settings that it's got. And you'll see fairly quickly it's now actually created a curve. So each of the the dots along that curve are specific positions that the uh, object in question is at that position in the animation. So you'll see as I go through the animation, you can see it follows the curve exactly. And this gives you a nice idea of exactly how your how your object is moving around on the, on the curve. The nice thing about uh, putting on the frame ticks is you can actually see where your object slows down or speeds up. So you'll see like at the beginning of this, the beginning of the animation here, the frame ticks are fairly close together. And that's basically means uh, that your that ball is accelerating from zero. And when it gets back to the end, you'll see at this point it starts slowing down, and those frame ticks start to get a little bit closer to, together. Okay, I'm going to run the path plotter again. You'll notice now that we have the option to replace the existing path, and this is because uh, a path already exists for that object. Uh, we've got a couple of options here you, you'll notice I've got a curve resolution now on this particular animation uh, because the ball isn't moving very quickly um, the, the curve and the curve resolution you won't really notice any difference this curve resolution can be pushed up to five and then what it's going to do is it's going to actually just bend uh, smooth off the curve uh, in between each of those uh, frame points where at the moment, uh, with a setting of one, the curve uh, goes directly in a straight line from one point to another point. So there's there's no smoothing off of that curve at all. You can also change the the color by either dragging on either of any of the the red, green, blue uh, values, or you can actually just click in the middle there and you can choose your own color. So if we were to say we wanted to rather do that one in red and we wanted to do the, the frame dots in blue, uh, that can be done. If we process it again, you'll notice it's now changed it, changed the color. The other option you can do is if we run it, we can actually just turn off those frame dots and let's just reset our color. And now you've just got the, the, the curve by being able to specify the the color for your curve it means that you could now go and create one for example for the camera so we can see what the camera movement is doing so if we run that again and choose a different color 
we've now got another curve that has been created which shows the path of the camera. Now what you'll notice with the path of the camera is it is very very jaggedy very straight and this is because of that the the curve value that I, I explained a little bit earlier. So if we run that one again and we push up our curve resolution and process again it's going to smooth that off a little bit and if we put on our let's actually just reset those to colors if we put on our frame dots there you can see there the movement of the camera so you can see the camera begins uh, right at the beginning it starts at um, zero speed and speeds up fairly quickly and then you can see all of the frame dots here are very close together and that is purely because the camera is moving very slowly at this point okay I'm going to just uh, load up a, a new scene okay so our scene is loaded and basically in this scene we have an animation of a female character who goes up into a handstand and then goes back down. Nice little animation. So what we're going to do in this one is let's first of all follow her feet. Now what you'll notice is you can actually select multiple options. So we could select both of her feet. Uh, that would be a com using the command key on a, on a, a Mac and uh, using the control key on a PC. So if we run our path plotter again now, you'll see there we've got the path of both of the feet. So you can see where the feet start moving. You can see where the feet are moving the fastest. You can see at the top there they hang around a little bit and then they come back down again. You'll also notice, uh, if we go onto the side here, you'll notice, uh, let's look at the, the left foot for example. So here's your path plotter for the, the left foot. If you open that up, you've got your frame dots, which you can turn on and off. You've got your object path, which you can turn on and off. But in the frame dots, you can actually go in and see all the individual frames. So for example, you can go and say, where was the foot at this particular frame? And there is the dot for that particular frame which does mean that you you can use that to put your camera in the exact correct position at a particular frame so if for example you wanted uh, to focus your camera on frame oh, that's in the middle of nowhere uh, let's go for frame 50 but let's say you wanted to focus your camera on frame 50 we can frame our camera up and then you will notice that as it hits 50 oh, I've actually got 55 selected there, there so there as we select 55 let's go back to 50 seeing as I actually used that as my example so that's that's the frame on frame 50 and you'll see on frame 50 that's the position of your foot you can also in the scene uh, you can just select and delete the entire path plot uh, you could also if you decided you didn't want the frame dots you could just delete those those are just created as standard objects within your frame. And that is basically uh, what Pathplotter will give you. You can, you could do different colors, for example, um, on each of them. So let's say I'm gonna do uh, the yellow color on the left foot. And let's do a different color on the right foot. Let's do that blue we could do the same thing for the left hand let's go with a green and 
let's go with the right hand as well and let's choose purple Now you've got a nice plot of where all of your objects are throughout the animation. And that's basically what Path Plotter can do for you. Thanks for listening.